Welcome back to Painting in Space with me, your narrator. Uh, step one, prepare your palette. Get as many colors you want and then smush them together. In the end, what comes out, hopefully, is aquamarine. So I basically sent out a bunch of trade order or diplomatic deals. Most of them are very beneficial to uh, the other party that is receiving it, and that's reason is because I want better relations. I'm starting to regret a little bit of this thing here. The whole point of having this here was to piss them off, but they're not pissed off sufficiently, and all I'm getting now is this boxed in. So to the degree, I'm actually tempted to abandon this whole entire thing here together. Oh, he took my Federation fleet. God damn it. That's okay. We saw this coming. And what I might do is, I'm terraforming this and now I don't actually know if I want to eat it. By eating, I mean settling, because I don't have enough stuff here to really make this uh, something that has a large border. So it would just be squeezed down. So instead, I might sacrifice this and then go mess around over here instead, which is my current plan. We're going to keep this as long as we can because I can use this as a bargaining chip. So we may be able to give away this system in the part of a bigger deal to get something that we want. Anyway, where are we? Where are you? You're here. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go and then go out, out and settle here too. We had, with two planets here, I think it will be much easier to, to hold the space. And now we have some ability to do that. I also find out the visitor standard. Uh, what it does is that it gives you additional habitability, which is quite nice. I'm not sure why it would do that, but it does. What kind of statement is this game making? When there are visitors, people that live there are more happy. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know what to do with this ship. I don't know what to do with him either. Are we done with research? The second problem we're having is some of these higher tier research stuff. It's starting to cost quite a bit of money. Base 4000 though, I think is one of the highest ones. I don't know what the highest tier is. My understanding is like there are four tiers of research. I think that might be a tier three. That said. Not in a hurry to get that. This one gives me 10% increase in unity, which is nice. I also have some interest in going here. P Paradise Stone. Hmm. This is good because we can only get into defensive wars. So at some point, I think we may also go down harmony. Completing it increases happiness, which is also good. But let's complete Diplomacy first, because that gives us the ability to increase the trust gap. And that's actually quite useful in terms of recruiting other people into our unity. So we'll go for this. Free unity is never bad. What? That wasn't gonna last. These dudes are assholes. And these dudes are now tiny. If you remember, last time we started building a ton of more ships uh, to kind of boost our fleets. I, one way to play this game, actually, if I wanted to do something, is I could basically intentionally have a smaller fleet than I need to, but then queue a bunch of them to be almost done. That way I would have like a really low uh, power. What's the power I'm looking for? What is this? What is it called? Military power and basically goat somebody into attacking me. And then when they attack, I turn out all of my fleets and crush them in a, in a reversal of fortune. Not gonna do that. That seems like cheating. That is against the ways. Against the ways of pacifists like us. This will be done in about 2080 for settling. Yeah, okay. That's not a problem. Because they are far enough apart 
this is Pithic, and then this is the Bobby. The Bobby are also fighting, or not fighting, but getting ready to fight these dudes. I don't know if they're gonna fight me first, but I don't think they will fight me because I am really, really strong. All right. We're not quite close enough to be able to do this because we're capped off on the core system. But I do want to go there immediately. I want to settle this planet just to stir up trouble. This will, if I settle this planet, then I can, I can do nothing else. <laughs> I don't actually know why I want to do that, but I want to do that to piss people off. That's the reason. Also, I got their uh, satellite links. My next goal is to bring these dudes into our federation because they have sort of the least resistance to us. I am not quite sure if I can bring them in because they, because the way the system works. Plus 89. See, if I want to uh, invite them to Federation, right now I have minus 90. And because there's a base 100 that I'm working off with. It's, it's not great. Oh, why? Okay, whatever. So I haven't figured out what I want to do here. Should I go ahead and settle this planet? It's not a bad one. It's actually very cheap. Oh, uh, should I do it? If I do it, there's no going back. I am committed to this sector, but I can't. I cannot connect these two sectors together. And I'm getting pushed by my own allies, which is kind of annoying. My allies is also pushing up against these dudes, and I sort of want to just bail out of there. Let's do one more colony ship. You know what? I think I'm gonna give this up. I need to focus on something. Right now, I still have the military power to to make a mess, but soon enough, that luxury is going to disappear. So I want to focus on working on this side. Oh, hi. So this was a patronage thing. Five hundred energy credit for fifty. Sure, that's actually a good trade because I'm having some trouble getting influence. This is a good source for me. I'll take that trade anytime. Okay. Am I ready to settle here? What are we building? I don't remember. Where is this even? I don't remember. What are we doing here? Who knows? Oh, the other thing I said I was gonna do is I wanted to. Uh, get more science. So actually, you know what? I have a better idea. Instead of having you wait there, no, it doesn't really matter. What I'm waiting for is the core planet systems. So I could stick something into, like for example, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna stick, let's see how Redder is doing. That's not entirely the wrong key. I think I might stick them into my because they're almost fully upgraded. I'm gonna stick them into my sector that allows us to sort of build the next thing. And the reasons, very similar. I want somebody to get pissed off at me. Hopefully this is a little more defensible territory than the other one. I don't get walled in quite so easily. easily. Okay. Oh, hey. I think they're gonna win this one. Otherwise, they would not declare war. They're ready. Ooh, that is a habitable world. Potentially. Don't want to get too close to it. Also, we have these over here. This is actually very tempting. I might be able to carve out a weird space in this little <laughs> gap over there. That would be hilarious, but also very, very bad. Alright. So, I keep talking about it and I'm not doing anything. I need to to fix this. Where's the sector man? Okay, sector management. Wait. Sector. Sector. Come on, sector. How do I how do I get there? I forgot. I forgot. Okay, here it is. Manage sector. 
would like to add you to the sector. And then I think I want to do is I don't want them to redevelop. And I don't want them to build robots. I want them to explore space. And then I can, you can build military stations. Focus on energy. No, focus on science. Research focus. There you go. That should be fine. Which means... You seeing this? We're doing it. This is gonna be a disaster, but it is a disaster that I like. This is probably not the most efficient, but I'm going to... I'm going to make this happen. Against all odds. Close. We're done. Next thing to do is I would like to have a planet here to wall up this resource. Because this is just supported by a station, which is not the best. Also, am I gaining on them? Nope. Just barely. Yeah, they're a military organization, or they're a military group, which means that their border their borders are deeper than ours. Okay, let's do Let's do that. Who cares about naval capacity? Not this guy. The economy, we, our economy is, is fine enough for, for what we're doing. We can actually sustain a lot more than this. I think the question really is how far do I want to, to, to go here? We have some resources in this little pile. And I'm okay with it for now, but at any given time, I might abandon this thing. Can I stop terraforming? If I cancel, do I get my resources back? Let's cancel it. I don't think I got my resources back. I got a little bit back. I don't want to give this to you. Like, I don't want to just give you minerals because I don't want your star chart, especially because I have, like, your active link, so I can actually see where you're going. <sighs> Stupid capitalists. They think they can't do anything. Alright. Braining construction ship over. Causing trouble for everybody. It's not too bad. I remember there was one system that I forgot to build something on. Now I can't remember where it is. Hmm. Okay, you're building there. You're building... Hmm. Where was it? Don't know. Oh, here it is. For you. Let's go to Balawar. Balalawar. This will be such bad news, but we're going to do it. We need some action. They probably hate each other enough already. Probably not going to get into a war with me, my tiny little self, especially given how much fleet power I'm amassing right now. Oh. Interesting. That's potentially a plus for us, because maybe we can get them... Oh boy. Really falling off here. It's not really a problem, because... What has fallen off is non-permanent things like rivalry and this sort of stuff. So that number can can be better. And they're still cordial. So I don't think, because we abandoned our plan to settle there, I don't think the border friction is going to be a problem. What I hope is that they don't get mad at these guys. Then that's a problem. But they're now inferior. Can I get... They're wary. Hmm. Why? Why are you wary at me? I am your friend. We love each other. Who are you? Get away. Get away from my house. It's hard to play a diplomacy game when everybody hates you, like, right off the bat. 
It's not a good life. What we have assured was a normally small, in fact not, beneath the deceptive cover of thick dust, swirl an upper atmosphere of a regular planet. Oh. Whatever. Who cares? Tell me about it when, you know, we have... Oh well, actually, this is better than nothing. I got two signs out of that, so it's okay. I'll take it. Am I... is this mine yet? Nope, not quite. So close. That's the second part of being a pacifist. You just don't have the borders. Whenever you're boarding with somebody, their border is always going to be pushing further than you because uh, the border part, number one, comes from some native traits for imperialists. The second part of that comes from this unity stuff. If you take domination or supremacy, I forget which one, it gives you bigger borders. But I'm not going that route. All these artists keep asking me for patronage. I do have a lot of credits, I won't lie. And I'll get a bunch of unity, which is good. Alright, let's do it. I'll take unity. Migration? How are you gonna migrate through from, from this to this side, huh? I'll let you see you cross a donut. The donut cannot be crossed. Yeah, we're losing a lot of credit because of stuff that is uh, two colony ships that are not doing anything right now. That's probably about almost 15 or possibly 20 energy per turn or per month. So once that goes away, things will be a lot better. I don't like this music. It's too foreboding. I'm getting nervous. I can't sleep at night. Also, I should... I don't know what to do. I have so many options, but they're all bad ones. What's that? This is... You know what? Why is... Where is the other... Mm. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Now I can settle double place. So, these are all pretty cheap technologies. Fleet support. Crew borders. Shop. Okay. Not really into the farm. Yeah, I don't feel any of this stuff, actually. I might research energy siphon. This is also something I want to research. You know what? Let's do it. It's not that long. Research speed 5%, of course. That's so expensive, but it's worth it if I do it now. Yeah, 53 months. It's not too bad. Exaggerating the problems that we're having right now. Oh, oh. Thank you. You're not in yet. I'm gonna take him over here. Oh, I need to explore those places. I haven't done it yet. Okay, science chip. Perfect. Very good timing. Come on, come on. Explore... Survey that system, and then survey the system. I'm probably also going to build a frontier station somewhere here, and possibly settle on this planet. Though that doesn't look very good, currently. Then I will settle on you. This is very expensive, all of this. But we're doing this for the sake of expansion. The only way we know how. Ah, oh, they're so happy, except for these dudes. But they're... Their support is so low. 21%, right? No. 37. They're very unhappy now. It shouldn't be difficult, because all I need is take one thing in harmony, and then they will be not unhappy. So I keep thinking that this is a not a terribly difficult problem to fix, but every single time I say that, the number of people here gets bigger. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Why? You know... Infidel Unbeliever. They will never... They're pathetic. Are they fighting against anybody? They are about to hit it. Oh, I see. They're about to really eat into this. I have a feeling that our red friend is going to just completely chomp off this entire space. Which makes me nervous. Because they are already sort of our... The second strongest empire in this... Uh, in this galaxy. The first, of course, being me. <clears throat> but if they chop off all of this green territory, and then all of this blue here, they would have basically half of a galaxy, and I don't really want to deal with that. Because I don't think I can get them into a federation right now. We're still very friendly, and I don't think there's any way we're not friendly in the near future, unless they decide to go after our friends here. But before they do that, I assume they're going to go down here, because they hate these dudes mo much more than they hate us. I just don't know if there's anything I can do to really make them or get them the opportunity to, to join with us. Because the, the base is just so low. Like If you're starting with a minus 100%, it's very difficult to work your way up. Hopefully they can be friendly with us, but right now it's just... I could go and do something unsavory, like declare uh, rivalry on them, because having rivalry allows you to increase the opinion with these dudes. The issue is that right now I'm not close enough. I mean, right now they, they're in war, so I can't even do that. We're just not close enough at all to, you know, making that worthwhile. I can get the trust up to 150, which means that the cordial relationship will continue. But we need to get into the next level before we can really do anything. In the meantime, we have to... We may have to take some risks. And I don't actually know exactly what that means. My definition of taking risk is basically take over this little territory and then put a target on my back. I want to get these guys into our, our territory too, but they don't seem to be having it. Is anybody over here? If not, I might thread a needle and then go in this direction. You know what? In fact, I might do that right now. Huh. Well, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> Keep trying to offer these deals, but nothing really ha nothing really gets out of it. Oh, well, you take what you what you can. Let me check something. I'm curious. How close are we technologically speaking? So they have nine, fourteen, and four, and then I have seven, six, and five. So they're ahead of me on technology too, which is not great. I like to think that's the reason is because I'm researching some of the higher tier ones and they're stuck in the past, but I don't really I don't really believe that, you know. Also, I don't know how strong their naval power is. Because after the new build stuff, we're up to about 14, almost 15k. Which I feel okay about. I'm counting the Federation fleet also, by the way. They're getting a little too close for to these dudes for comfort, which is why I have not invited them into my alliance yet. Yeah, I don't trust... Well, they're... Yeah, they're not really expanding because they're completely stuck. Hi. Hmm, sure. I don't mind. What you're gonna do? I'm kind of curious to see what they're doing. And also, I'm curious to see what their fleet is like. So, a 6,600 6, fleet. 750. Is that all they have? Seems like it. Which is not that strong, if, I, if you ask me. Of course, they are just fighting right now. 
建設完了しました These dudes are dead, man. They're so dead. So, they have basically one of our fleet, and we have two of them. That makes me feel better. Wait a minute. What is this? That is a 12,000. <laughs> that is a 12,000 power fleet. Don't really like any of that. They, in fact, have more、uh, fleet power than we do. Hmm. I don't know what to think about this. Wait, where are you? I was like, we're doing good. And then we saw that they have about 50% more fleet power than we do. So this fleet is just kind of sitting here. Yeah, 12,000. You know, I think. This is a lot of ships. They don't have battleships yet, do they? Corvettes, Corvettes, destroyers, destroyers. Cruisers, cruisers, cruisers. They do, they do not have battleships. I think that also means that we should increase our fleet power too. I want to be at least as strong as they are, so that they are not tempted to attack us. Okay, they can be opportunistic. opportunistic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can't talk right now. Too busy dying. There you go, survey that. Seems to be done over here. So. I was saving up, but I think the problem is that they're more upgraded than we are. Because we do have a lot of ships. Maybe we didn't research some of the、uh, military tech stuff, which is causing the problems. So, 12, 14, what, what do they have? Can I tell? 7,000. Oh. 6. Where is that big fleet? I can't find it anymore. Maybe it went somewhere else. Are they here? Nope. Where did it go? 2000. There it is. Oh gosh. I lost it. They're traveling space. Okay, what do you have? 26, 26, 22. Resource storage full. Oh no. I should probably fix that. And I don't really know how to fix it. I know one way building a lot more ships. So, let's start by building a bunch of cruisers. Okay. And then over at Binder. Same thing. Not a destroyer. Well. So basically, they have a lot more cruisers than we do. Number of corvette, corvettes and destroyers are pretty similar. That's alright. We're o- way over our naval capacity, but it's not really that big of a deal. So I'm not too worried. This is actually a nice territory, it gives us a lot of resources. And let's finish. Next, we'll go into Harmony. I've talked about going to Discovery, but I'm actually not quite sure. This is sort of the thing that I want because I can then get better stuff, but it doesn't really become useful until you either finish the tree or go down to a point where you have a bunch of scientists assisting research. So I might go down Harmony instead. Yay. Who finished? Build spaceport immediately because I need that naval power. Next thing I might do is finish、uh, potentially the colonization suite. It's actually not that important. <laughs> you guys are just shoveling decks, deck shares, man. You're about to go down real bad. And once you go down, I don't actually know if I like what's gonna happen after that. Let's get two fleets and then we'll make a third fleet. And then build all three to about. My goal is to build all three to about over 10k in power. I want to have about. If I can manage it. Oh, hi. 
You know, why don't you shut up? If I can manage it, I would like to have 30k to 50k fleet power. Definitely over 50k fleet power before we hit 2300. We're not going to do anything with that fleet power, but I want to have that as sort of a security. And which is why we need to expand our economics so we can manage it. I'm thinking about settling on this planet too. That gives us two things over here which allow us to expand uh, and get some stuff going. Because they're getting real big. We're going to run into them pretty soon. I do have access to a couple of these too. Uh, but I'm thinking about going in this direction. Because now this is explored and I'm sure there are a lot of space here. This could be kind of a second home for us. Oh, oh! You have no job. Let's let's build something for you. How about a visitor center? Always good. I don't. Not sure if I like 2208, and I am 16162. So starting to fall behind a little. What's Bobby? 17. So we have a little bit of order starting to establish, to be become established. They're equivalent to us again, which means they're starting to catch up just a little bit, but that's okay. I believe in us. He keep asking for this. That's fine. I'll keep getting, I'll keep keep getting influence from this. I'm not producing much influence natively myself, and I need to expand. It's one way to get it. All right. We need a couple of more wormhole generators around here. Whenever I get the time. I don't want them to close the door on us. As long as we have control over these, these planet systems, if they get it from us, then we can get them back. We're allowed to do that as a defensive war. Eh, not really feeding that one. Everybody's asking, fine, take it. Take my energy. I don't want it. I actually do need it because of terraforming, but I'm okay right now. How do I get battleships? Research is going so slowly because I built up so many cities and so many populations. Not sure if we're heading on a winning path right now, in case you're wondering. They're wary. They've gone back to 84. Cordial. Because of trust. This trust will go all the way to 150. The border friction is probably going to increase a little bit, but not by a huge amount, because that depends on, I think, number of systems. These guys are okay. I might be able to get him into our system. <laughs> that was short-lived. But I'm not sure if I want to. I mean, they give us just a little bit. This is too small. And they're not going to be really able to expand anywhere without running into trouble. And they're not fighting each other yet. So before they lost this territory, I would have gladly brought them aboard. But now they lost it. They're boxed in. Just like my friend here. Okay. That's, I think that's enough for today. Leave me to ponder my existence, the meaningless existence. We do have a nice colored map. It's, that's something. Our blob is bigger than anybody else's blobs for now. Not sure how long it's going to last, so uh, I guess we'll find out. Next time on 2276 Space Odyssey. See ya.